Og hei og velkommen tilbake til en episode i Dying Light. Begynne da. Thanks. Ja, alle dager, hva skjer nå? I'm dying to hear what the other one is. What do you think? The sweet, sweet thrill of gambling, obviously. Oh, yeah? What's your game? Now it's just boring cards. When the boss is not looking. Used to be much more crazy when the night runners were around. You see that group of buildings there? They had a parkour course between them. There was this cheeky guy named... Wait. Hassan? Pakan? Anyway, he used it to test recruits for their skills with the grappling hook. Gave them some wicked shit with it. Let me guess, you and the guys placed bets on who's gonna fall on his ass first. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> well, well, well. You do know how to have fun. I like you. Hey, tell you what. Why don't we bring the excitement back? <laughs> how do you mean? Believe it or not, some of these recruits actually finished the course. And a few even demonstrated mad skills. How about you test yourself and see if you can beat their time? And I, well, I could take bets from the guys again. Win-win, eh? Hey, fellas, get your purses ready. We may have action here. If you feel up to it, just punch the bell. It's a bit dusty, as you can see. Hmm. Punch the bow. Eller fan av sånne små greier. Åh ja, det er et oppdrag. Det gjør vi da. Men kødder du? Å, så tett.
Ah, jag ska ta det här med då. Dölla. Ring the bell when you're ready to ramble. Oh man, that was awesome. You got the goods. I can still take bets on you beating your own time, you know. The fun just never ends. Ring that bell whenever you want to go again. Det är egentligen i stedet for å gå rett på story-questen. Ha litt sånn side. Fortsatt mission. Åh. Hovedoppdrag igjen, liksom. Slepper vi å... Fille. Åh, kom igjen.
Merhaba kanka. Special one of them, talk on the ground. Ay. Qué gato. No, es que gato. Yeah. <laughs> 
contact as well. I don't know. Jag tror inte sälja en pilla bio. Nei, jeg fikk det. Det er bare sko og drit. Nå skulle jeg vel egentlig gått opp og sånn ned igjen. Du har dem! Min forskning var spot on. Her har vi de komplette verkene av William Shakespeare. Hans historier er noen av de mest ofte fortalt og adaptet i historien. So universal were his themes. His tragedies were the most popular. Hmm. Are we humans drawn to tragedy? Hmm. Something to reflect upon. The Arabian Nights. Originally, 1001 Nights. A seminal collection of stories, folk tales, and songs that span a continent over several centuries. It is a melting pot of literature. Sometimes fantastical. Often violent. Not unlike life in our own city. More monumental achievements secured from destruction. <laughs> Let's keep at it. I believe Thalia already has readied a new list. Hello, Aiden. I see you've brought back a collection of Shakespeare's works for Albert. Are you familiar with Romeo and Juliet? I guess. Tell me, do you believe in love? I mean, true love. The faded love of which Shakespeare wrote. I'd like to think so. I just haven't seen a lot of it in my life. It's true. 
Even simple affection seems in scarce supply these days. But the hope... It's the hope that can make it possible. If not now, then later. As the fates decree. Speaking to you, Aiden, has once again been a revelation. I look forward to your next visit. It's a welcome break for me. For you too, I hope. Here's a new list. Watch out for yourself. Ja. Hur är det vill att det ska vara där? Hmm. Har det inte varit för att vi inte har varit där då? Hmm. Ett och så. Bli inne. Vad tar man ens? Vad tar man då?
prøvde den faktisk å løpe på meg et par ganger. Det er egentlig skal hente bøker, nei. Der var den andre, og da tok den to. Det du kan, vet du.
Alright, so there we go. And so, got him. More of humanity's legacy restored and protected. The Bhagavad Gita is the controversial Krishna Bible. The warrior god Krishna tells us that he is responsible for our actions. We are a part of him, extensions of his thoughts and desires. It challenges the concept of free will and personal responsibility. Karl Marx's Communist Manifesto is one of the most influential political documents of all time. I wonder what he would say about class struggles in our own day and age, and unique circumstances. Thank you for these, Aiden. I'm afraid we haven't found any new noteworthy collections for you yet, but keep an open channel. I will radio you the moment we have it. Oh, that can the mad. Nede for der også, kan vi jo ta den. Kreves det at den da. Og da får vi litt.
Carrier's Guild here. I have a message. I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, my. What's wrong? A client of mine is concerned about her unborn child. She's feeling some pain, so I'd better go and check on her. I'm a midwife, you see. Couldn't her husband have come to get you? Lord, no. She's in hiding from him. You see, the baby's not his. What he'd do if he found her? You can't tell a soul. You mustn't. I see. Well, the secret's safe with me. Thank you. Now, excuse me. I, I must gather my things. Hit him on pole. Yo, yeah. Oh, Some 
the times I wake up at night and forget that the ball even happened, that's about the only time I'm alive. Then I just live a goddamn normal life. Oh, just small, though. Oh, on that. You can't just run uh, off who? like that, Henny. Granny's not as spry as she once was. Henny, I'm not. Aren't you cold, darling? You never knew how to dress appropriately. <laughs> I remember back in preschool how you would put your undies on your head. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think you're mistaking me for somebody. Uh, it's about time you made it back here, Henny. I'm feeling a bit out of sorts today. Why am I even standing here? <clears throat> Aha! Did you get... Do, do you have those, uh, you know... Help me out here, Henny. No, I'm sorry. I'm Aiden. Aiden. And I really have to get going. Pills. That's it. You were supposed to bring me my but pills. Okay. Ran out this morning. And my mind's all sort of foggy. I'd like to help, but I... Yeah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Grandma. I forgot to pick up your pills. Can you remind me which pharmacy I have to go to? God, I've forgotten everything. Ah, I know. This group of nice boys came this morning for coffee. No, it was for tea. And they made me... I mean, I lent them my last bottle. They had such funny masks on their faces. You were robbed by renegades? Ah, yes. That might be what they called themselves. But they were nice boys. All right, don't worry, Grandma. I'll ask those boys to give it back. Where did they go after that? Uh, somewhere over there. To those abandoned apartments behind me, I guess. Darling. Don't you boys get up to too much mischief together. I'll be waiting with a hot cup of tea by the windmill south of the VNC tower. Oh. I remember. Still, huh? I'm gonna end you. But there's no pill at the best moral. synkroniserte gang. Går 
дорого, а? Kedder, eller? Ja. Det er sikkert sånn ekstra ting. det tappe där. Ja, skön jag. Nu skön jag. Det er her de snille mannfolka bor her. So they are here. Grandma might be confused, but her memory's just fine for some things. Hope these pills help her. Here you go, ma'am. I mean, Grandma, I got your pills. Took your sweet time, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Had to grab a pint with your mates after work again, is that it? You could have let me know before we got married. The day were your true loves. <laughs> Well, here's your tea. See what kind of wife you have? No, no, I'm not your husband, remember? I'm your grandson? Shit, now I'm confused. Take these, please. They should help. That's so sweet you brought them, Aiden. Wait, 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 wait. So, you remember my name? You know who I am? What about Kenota? Oh, my. Oh, all right. Mm, I might have exaggerated my memory problems a little bit. One can get used to this epidemic, even to the infected. But to loneliness? Never. What's the point of surviving if I have no one to share my life with? And you. 
Do you have a grandmother still alive? Do you drop by for tea with her? Never had a grandma. Truly? Then you do not even know what you are missing. I know so many stories. Would you like to listen? Yeah. I... I'd love to. Drop by whenever you feel like it, and I'll be glad to tell you. I'd love to hear your story now. I am Bosnian. I survived the siege of Sarajevo by the Yugoslav army during the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It started in 92 and lasted four years. The longest and bloodiest siege in the history of Europe after World War II. My mother and I were hiding in the basement. Very tight, very uncomfortable. It was hard to sleep. One day, a boy showed up. He was maybe seven years old. His name was Daniel. His parents had been killed by mortar shells. Higher up, you could sneak away from snipers, avoiding unprotected streets. But you could never predict where the missiles would fall. It was only a matter of time before Daniel would die. He came by every day. But my mother never suggested that he stay the night. We lacked food, and a third person would have made it impossible to sleep. One day, Daniel sat with us, and I could see how troubled he was. He had big brown eyes. Can I stay with you? Mother changed the subject. In the following days, she did that three more times, until finally, she let him stay. Might she change her mind? I asked her the same question. She said, I had to remind myself what it meant to be human. I have remembered that my whole life. When the virus broke out, I sheltered dozens of immigrants. People think of themselves to survive. But they won't survive if they think only of themselves. Wow. I never thought about it like that. I'm glad I met you. Hey. Look, no one brought out of a hair bone gummish heading out there. Oh. -ho. Snart alle på den siden. Vel her. Thank you 
freestyle och du tycker du Okej. Ja då. Är det en sån teleport då? Det var ikke sånn trang inngang da, men... Det er mennesker her i scenen da. Det var alt. Åh, så digg. Åh, det var digg. Slepp å gå ned. Jeg trodde jeg måtte ned der og hente eller starte de generatorene og ta heisen og det pisse der. Åh, det var fryktelig der å slippe det. Bossen der. Det var noe jeg veldig pingler. Og så er det. Det er over nå. New book location just discovered, Hayden. Are you available now? Drop by. Nå er vel han at vi skal hjelpe nå. Det glemte jeg helt å se på. Oppå der. Det er jo det at de ikke fighter, egentlig. Det er jo det at de ikke fighter, egentlig. 
Das ist doch hier den, ja, das ist schon ein bisschen laut, okay. Zomber gir jo mer motstand dem, vet du, enn de spesielle zombiene. Må jo være en feil i... Lett som å få tak i et sovested.
Ai, como é lá? Ai, det var en fin hack da. Det var fint jeg fikk det på film. Ingen hadde skjønt det hvis jeg skulle prøve å forklare det der. Prater jeg gjennom gulvet og hacka ut på siden. Jeg lurer på hva man egentlig skulle fått den der. None of your business. Ollie, cool your jets. Don't you know who this is? It's that Belgium guy, Aiden. Well, since you asked, one of her own, Kareen, is undercover at the nearby renegade camp. A spy. Right. Volunteered to walk into the lion's den. Been given regular reports, and then nothing. Not a peep for days now. It ain't like her. They caught her for sure. Yeah, thanks for the expert analysis, Mr. Doom and Gloom. Someone needs to get in there and find her. What's she doing in there anyway? Just finding out whatever she can. Those renegade scum are going down. And she's been feeding us info that'll make them go down even harder. Has she hinted she might be in trouble? Not really. I, I mean, her reports were coming farther and fewer between, but that's it. Yeah, less useful, too. Figured she was just about to pinch it off and come home when poof, nothing. Why don't you go in after her? 
No can do. Those renegades would sniff us out in a second, and we'd be toast. Yeah, those are fucking renegades, man. Just because I'm a guy doesn't mean they wouldn't rape me or something. Yeah, I see your problem. Jeez, Ollie, you got serious problems. I'll go check in on her. Oh, man, that, that, that'd really help us out. Look, I got these papers that'll get you into the camp. Better him than me. See what I got to put up with? Just give me the papers. I'll but be I'm honest angry. with you. I did a quick job forging these. Anyone taking a third look could figure it out. Which means you gotta work fast once you're in. You okay with that? No, I'm good. Awesome. Now, check it. The Renegade's camp is tucked between the office towers. Okay. How am I supposed to recognize her? Well, ain't a lot of women in these places. But she's got to know you're on our side. Use the code word phrase, have you milked the goats? And she'll respond, goat milk is too sour for my tastes. You'll know it's Kareen. Goat milk is too... what? What kind of code phrase is that? Pretty awesome, right? I came up for that, man. That was all me. 100%. Okay, okay, whatever. Om han. <clears throat> Smart on her, but I didn't. Till you showed here. Container detected. from patrol can i get in huh? let's see your papers <sighs> being cold familiar what's it haven't i seen you somewhere before maybe but i get that all the time yeah you got that familiar kind of face welcome home Welcome home. Take this home. Thanks, bro. Can I quadri and Paula? Amen.
what? Have you milked the goats? Don't know about goats, handsome. But if you're looking... Yeah, never mind. Aiden, it's Dan. This isn't a good time. Sorry, but I gotta warn you. The guards took a third look and figured out the papers were forged. Oh, fuck. Exactly. So the clock's ticking. You gotta find Karina and get the hell out of there. They'll be tearing the place apart any minute now. Yeah, roger that. Have you milked the goats? Goat milk is too sour for my taste. The PKs sent you? Yes. Are you in danger? Only from the PKs. W what do you mean? I've... I've met someone. His name is Alphonse. A renegade. A man. Renegade, yes. But that's just a label like peacekeeper. Tell the PK I was discovered and executed. Otherwise, they'll come after me. They won't stop. I'll lose Alphonse. I'll lose everything. Aiden, stay in here. Any luck? Yeah, I found her. She's standing right in front of me. You bastard! So, she's okay? What gives? Seems she's taking a shine to renegade life. Sorry to break it to you. Well, tell her she's fucked for sure now. Little higher-ups hear about this. Oh, she's dead meat for sure now. Like Ollie said, thanks, Aiden. We'll handle her from here. Stand out. You will pay for that. Help! In here! I'm being attacked! Oh, oh. Damn it. Oh, oh. Oh. Nå skulle jo døve uansett, så da drepte jeg henne. Jeg har ikke tenkt på den jeg døde venstre her, så står det jo... ...meter unna. Se da her, da. Det vil jo si at det er noen godsaker inni her, da. Hmm. Bare det å komme seg inn. Det er en sånn skill at jeg kunne hoppe høyere fra huet til zombiene. Ah, shit, der vil jeg er inne, ja.
Come on, come on. Fuck! So they were nesting. I thought they were going to go up first. Så man kommer opp der, og så kommer man så over der. Skal vi se... Jeg tror det er til høyre denne gangen da. Så er vi der. Hvis de her er her oppe, så betyr det jo at det er en sted. Eller en sånn. Inn i skapet. Trenger det. Der. Åh ja, fuck. Det er den engel her til å åpne det jo. Løpte etter den hele tiden da. Ah! <laughs> 
Container is safe. Den for Brigitte. Hmm. Det var dårlig norsk. så kan være halvveis norsk. Mom, come home. I'm so worried about you. Is that stray you took in still there? Please don't talk like that about my future wife. Her name is Sylvia. You've known her for a week and you're calling her your wife? What do you even know about her? I love her. More than your own mother? I must have been a terrible mother. You see, this nice young man promised to get me a container where I can live out my days alone. But mom! Quiet! Now, how did it go, my hero? Well, you can move in. Here is your well-earned payment. I could have left it to my son, but he deserves nothing. Please, talk some sense into her because I don't have the strength anymore. Children have to go their own way someday. Did you hear, Mom? If you want to leave because of Sylvia, then I won't be stopping you. Cool. And you had such a kind look in your eyes. Will she be all right? I'll look after her somehow. After all, she's my mother. Thanks for helping her. Yeah, don't mention it. Good luck on your new path in life. Bøker å hente her borte? Nei. Ikke skje. Oppdrag om bøker. Leveranse, eller bokleveranse. Begynner å bli. Oi. Ja. Jeg tror nesten jeg må kutte episoden her, folkens. Så blir den så fryktelig lang. Tida flyr når man sitter og spiller og har det gøy. Men ja. Ha en fin dag videre. Vi spilles.